So if you go to the workshop page and you scroll down to the, actually the schedule's on a different page now, isn't it? So let's go to the schedule. This is where everything is recorded. You can find where we should be. Although HackMD is updated with the, um, the current state of things. So we have a welcome and practical information here. So I will open this in a new tab. And oh, we should have a link directly to live stream. So we're going to the live stream workshop introduction. So let's see, we've already given you the generic welcomes during the uh, icebreaker time. So about this workshop. So these days, computing's everywhere. And as we've saw in the, uh, the icebreaker, many people learn programming already. But the thing is, programming isn't everything. So after you know the programming, there's all these tools that can make programming either really enjoyable or really difficult. Things like version control, testing, documentation, and so on. And that's what we're here to teach. So our goals are so that everyone can do their science without any barriers. So basically, you're, we're not stuck with the people that know version control can do it really well and the people that don't are struggling. By knowing these tools, we get a lot better and more reproducible research. And maybe most importantly, it allows you to collaborate. So without things like version control and the tools here, people basically do their own thing and are sort of stuck and can't really work together very well. But this workshop can transform your research. So Code Refinery refers to the organization, technically, I believe. It's a Nordic project funded by the Nordic E-Infrastructure Collaboration, and it is responsible for um, teaching. So it runs workshops and others like it. It also runs a GitLab, which can be used to share source code if you don't want to use one of the commercial services. It's a partnership of all of these organizations throughout Sweden, Finland, Denmark, and Norway. Uh, if you want to join us, you actually can. You can check at our website. I think I'll mention more about this later. So who's involved here? We have course coordinators, like mainly Radovan has been the biggest course coordinators, although I think Matthias has also been doing a lot of work there and probably far more people that I don't know about. We have the instructors you will see. We have expert helpers who have been around for a while and are going and answering questions in the HackMD, in Zoom, and in person. And we have exercise leaders, which basically take a small group of people and lead people through the exercises. So, Let's give introductions of the people on stream now. Uh, Radovan, you're first in my Zoom. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, hi everybody, Radovan Bast. It's, I'm so happy to be here, so exciting. Uh, these workshops are so complex and big, and it's so exciting because I don't know exactly what will happen. So we are up for a couple of days of some improv and a lot of fun. So I'm calling uh, here, from Tromsø, Northern Norway. It's a beautiful day. We are almost freezing temperature, first time snow on the mountain. I have a coffee next to me and I look forward to, oh, I should say a little bit more about what I do here. So I, half of my time, I work on code refinery doing events like this one. Um, the rest of my time, I support research with software engineering. So helping students, researchers with their code questions with consulting training and help. And so much looking forward to today teach with Dania. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tanya Pushpadas and I'm from University of Bergen, yeah, Norway. So 
Yeah, it's a sunny day in Bergen. Normally it's uh, supposed to rain and it's Bergen is not behaving as it is, as it should. So, uh, yeah, and I also work together with Radovan at Norwegian Research Infra Infrastructure Services, which is known as ENRIS, mostly coordinating training events and supporting researchers and other procurement projects as well. Uh, this is my first time as an instructor with Code Refinery, so I'm very excited and looking forward to it. And welcome. Thanks. So I'm Richard Darst. For today, at least, I'm managing the streaming and stuff. I work at Alto University in the science IT team, or as we call ourselves now, Alto Scientific Computing. We maintain the computer cluster, which our researchers use for computing. We do a lot of teaching like this, and we have a research software engineer service as well to provide specialized support in basically all of these kinds of topics and more to you. And my focuses these days are the teaching and the research software engineering stuff. So let's go on. The first thing we should note is that not everything will be perfect. So things like we have more material we, than we can cover. This is done live. Um, we might get any kind of questions. There might be internet problems, but that's okay. That adds to the excitement, we think. So um, like you will see things that will go wrong and we will deal with it. That's great. If the stream suddenly dies, wait five minutes and um, for it to come back because who knows what might have happened in my home where I'm broadcasting from. Uh, and most importantly, we have more material than we can cover. So every workshop is different. So depending on what people are interested in, we might cover some things in a little bit more depth or less depth. We have advanced exercises and topics we won't get to, but you can read yourself and so on and so on. So basically, we like mistakes. That's where we really learn things. So how does this workshop work in practice? So as you noticed, we are a live stream. So that means we are not in Zoom. You can't talk to us directly. Um, but that, on the other hand, means that anyone can watch us. So you are completely free to share the live stream link with all of your friends from anywhere in the world and let them see how we're doing. This is great. For some people who have registered, there's a Zoom session. So at certain times, we will say, okay, we are going to exercise this now. Please move to the Zoom that you have in your email and use that to do the exercises. And then you come back to Twitch whenever we're ready. Or there's at least one in-person meetup at Alto University where you can go to a room and then do the exercises there. If you're in Otaniemi or Finland, you're welcome to go there. Check your email for information. So there's many different parts to the workshop. So we have demos and talking, which is in the live stream. There's type along where we're doing something and you can try it at the same time. That's also in the live stream. There's the exercises. This is the part where you can go to the Zoom or in-person things. And our goal is to have at least 10 minutes of break per hour. There's a lot of material and everyone will take a slightly different path. This is okay. We don't expect everyone to do the exact same things. There might be some points where there is a type long and you would rather just watch and see how it happens. Or there might be something which is a demonstration and you want to type along and try to do it before us to see if you can. This is okay. I mean, everyone can take their own path. The videos will be recorded. They're available on Twitch right away and YouTube later today. And that means that you can go back and you can uh, review as you would like. Okay, so as you notice, we have this really interesting vertical screen share. And that's because of the interactive nature. So the idea is you can put Twitch in half of your screen like this here, and then you have the other side for yourself. So your workspace where you're working 
and the um, the the web browser and all your other things here. So people find that this works pretty well. And to answer the hack and D session, no, you don't need to join in Zoom. Um, yeah. A Zoom dual monitor might give you two windows, which is useful if you are in Zoom. So anyway, it might take a little bit of time to adjust your screen like this, but um, yeah. Okay, for chat and communication. As you see, we use um, HackMD for this. Um, the basic idea is you switch to edit mode and you ask questions in bullet points or numbers, and then you get answers in sub points like this. And there can be as many questions and as many answers at the same time as possible, and it will stay organized. Yeah, there's the switching between the different modes. You might need to switch to edit mode once to get live updates in HackMD. So don't get overloaded. So I promised that at the end of the course, actually that's also down here. At the end of the course, someone will say, this was great, but there was too much information. And I will say, don't you remember when I was giving the introduction, I said, there's gonna be too much information. So you need to be selective in where you look. So do you follow just the live stream? Do you also have the HackMD open and watching? Are you typing along in live stream? It's up to you and you really need to think about what you do here for yourself. You can ask a question in HackMD, go back to the watching and then go to HackMD during the next break and see what the answer was. These are all okay. For HackMD, please don't include names or any identifiers in there. So this is public, we might share it on the screen and everything should be private and anonymous by default. We recommend using the HackMD instead of Twitch or Zoom chat because we don't have the capacity to follow these. Okay. So yeah, the ways of watching, if you're all new to the live stream, just watch and do what you would like by yourself. Or invite some of your friends to come by a meeting room and then work together. If you're in an in-person room, watch the stream together, uh, do exercises together, talking to each other, and work together. If you're in Zoom for exercises, we'll make it clear when you switch between Zoom and live stream. And I guess in Zoom, people will talk a little bit more about how that works. But there are these breakout rooms in there, so you can join a room to work with a small team of people. Check your email for information about that. If you have not registered yet, please do it. You actually don't have to. Everything is designed so you can do it with no registrations and no signups on any services. But if you do, you will get emails from us from updates and you help to show the impact of the course. And we don't share your contact information with anyone else. So it will really help us if you do. And oh yes, you get HackMD if you sign up. So about the community. So there's some things to keep in note. So this is live production and not curated. The schedule is more of a goal than a schedule. Um, we adjust to what people want and everything is unique. So things won't be perfect. The course won't be perfect. The instructors and helpers won't be perfect. Um, please be nice to everyone that's taking part. And we should work together to make it as good as we can. Please be respectful and helpful to everyone. So it's actually really hard to teach and mentor technology like this, and we need everyone to help take part in the process. Keep in mind that everyone's at different levels and that's just expected. Everyone here is both a teacher and a learner. Uh, every, take the time to check in and ask with the other people on your team and in your room how things are going, are you getting what you need, and so on. And when something isn't right, just speak up immediately and let us know. In particular, if the font sizes are too small, if the audio is bad, things like that, this will happen. Um, yes. 
In the worst case, we have a code of conduct that tells us how to contact us to let us know if something is going very wrong. But, um, yes. Okay, as final notes. So, Code Refinery is an open project. Please join us, either by yourself as an individual or as an organization. It would be great if more organizations could join us to extend our power. Uh, please help in this workshop by these different things you can read here. You can tweet, next time you can be an exercise leader, and just in general be active in helping each other. For privacy. So because of the live stream, there's no way for your audio or video to end up being broadcasted or recorded. That's actually the main point of why we are doing it as a live stream. Please don't put your names in HackMD. This might be streamed and this will be archived. Um, we will post the HackMD on the course page later today. And there's a way to request certificates from certain partners. So with that, should we get started? I will take us back to the course schedule. And what we start with is introduction to version control or git intro. Mm -hmm.